Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov. I'm the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Today I will show to you how you can create very successful commercial for your client using only one asset. Yes, guys, only one asset. Let's jump. As you can see, I have opened our first example we will be working with today. Uh, imagine that your customer contacted you and asked to create commercial for his or her new lipstick line. Your client wants to show different um, uh, colors of his or her new um, lipstick line, but your customer can provide you only with one image. No problem, guys. Let's do it. First of all, I will select a quick selection tool. In the options bar, I will click on a a new selection, not add, not uh, subtract from, just new selection. And I will select any area in my image I would like to apply modifications to. Just like that. Guys, it's nothing too complicated. It's so easy. Just like that. This, I will fix this area. And voila, guys. Oh my God. Uh, the quick selection tool selects everything. What I will do in the options bar, I will click on subtract from selection and voila. I will subtract this area from my selection. If you made any mistake and I did a mistake, I will switch to add to selection and I will add this area to my selection just like that and voila so after um you will be satisfied with your selection and you will say okay i'm pretty much happy with my selection i'm ready to go let me fix this area just like that after you're satisfied with your selection in the options bar click on select and mask uh, icon just like that and voila you will be redirected to select and mask workspace i love select and mask workspace i can adjust my selection at any time what i will do i will highlight um, a brush tool in the options bar i will click on plus icon and i will add missed uh, pixels to my selection just like that guys nothing is too complicated so after i will be happy or you will be happy with your um, selection you will say oh awesome i'm very happy in the uh, properties panel we have output settings area guys please 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 almost all the time specify output to new layer with layer mask why I will explain explain just in a second. So, specify new layer with layer mask as your output setting and click OK. And as you noticed, guys, Photoshop creates separate layer with your uh, selection and applied selection uh, layer mask to your layer. And Photoshop hide um, your uh, original layer. Now I will explain why I ask you to specify output uh, to a new layer with layer mask. If I would like to adjust my selection at any time, I will double click on my layer mask and voila, I will be redirected back to my select and mask workspace. But to be able um, uh, to double click on your layer, layer mask and be redirected to select and my uh, mask workspace, you need to go to preferences, tools, and click on this very beautiful box. Double click layer mask, launch, select, and mask workspace. And voila, guys, you're ready to go. So now I have two layers, my original layer, and a top layer is my um, selection with a layer mask. I have highlighted my uh, selection at, uh, with layer mask and in adjustments uh, panel, I will click on hue and saturation just like that. Photoshop creates separate adjustment layer, but I would like to apply my uh, adjustment layer only to the layer below my adjustment layer. So 
in the properties panel I will click on uh, add a clipping mask and voila now my adjustment will be applied only to the layer below my adjustment layer and guys look at this magic I will move my hue slider just like that oh my god yes guys and do not forget about saturation slider perfect now guys as you can see we change the color perfect 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 but um i would like to smooth um a line between the, um the, uh, between um uh our um lips and the skin what i will do i will click on my layer mask just like that layer not adjustment layer guys layer mask layer i will switch to simple brush tool with a white color and voila i will smooth transition between uh, uh subject uh lips and the skin just like that look at this guys just like that you can do a better job spend more time just like that and voila perfect 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 if you made any mistake and you painted in more than you wanted like I did no problem switch the color of your brush from white to the black and just like that and paint out any area you like just like that and voila guys perfect now I will show to you another example just because we live in 21st century and um, we are working with 2d and 3d's um, assets I will show to you another example I will show to you 3d example um, imagine that your customer contacted you and ask again to create a um, commercial for his new um, soft drink line but your customer can provide you only with one 3d asset no problem guys what we will do now we have two layers one layer is our background layer and top layer is our 3d object layer I will switch to my move tool and I will duplicate 3d layer I will move this layer just like that and I will um, select my top layer just like that you can select or um, just uh, deselected example I will show it to you another example deselected and just go to adjustments click on a uh, hue and saturation adjustment and now Photoshop creates a uh, adjustment layer above your um, top layer to apply adjustment only to the layer below adjustment layer once again click on add the clipping mask and voila and once again move your hue slider just like these guys and again do not forget about saturation slider just like that and voila guys now if you would like to personalize your uh, customers um product no problem first of all i will open my creative cloud library and here i have my customers <laughs> logo i will click on it and i will drag into my document just like that i will size it down I will reposition it I will click OK to accept all changes and in my layers panel I will um, change a blend mode just to overlay just like that I will duplicate my customers uh, logo or brand name and I will move it to my another can just like that you can reposition it you can resize it you can do anything you like or your customer likes so guys this is what i wanted to share with you today if you have any questions please ask i will be more than happy to answer to any of your questions thank you guys and i will see you later bye